yeah we have trial balance and plus additional information so first we will go through the trial balance so this is our trial balance as on 31st march 2013 and these are the items in the trial balance so first uh, item is opening stock then we have purchase sales rent paid interest on bank loan cash furniture debtors 10 percent bank loan bad debts provision for bad debts creditors and then we at last we have drawings and capital and see the additional information there are four additional information the first is what closing stock is valued at dollar four thousand second prepaid rent amounted to dollar five hundred and third information provide ten percent on debtors for doubtful debts and the last one is what the depreciate furniture at the rate of 10 percent per annum so these are the adjustments and now we are to prepare financial statements uh, considering this trial balance and uh, these additional information now see i am going to prepare the financial statements the first part is what this trading and profit and loss uh, and and in the second page we will prepare the balance sheet after trading and profit and loss account we will prepare this balance sheet so see first we will prepare this income statement in the income statement see what we will do first so first we will prepare the trading account and then after i will prepare profit and loss account so see in the trading account first we need what net sales so see yeah from this trial balance we will uh, take this item so in the trial balance see in the trial balance you can see that sale is there and the amount of sale is what dollar forty two thousand yeah and there is no sale return so this is sale we will assume that uh, this is sale is only the net sale there is no any there is no sale return so what is the amount of net sale dollar forty two thousand dollar forty two thousand and uh, from this net sale now we have to subtract cost of sale and to compute cost of sale we need first opening stock so see in the trial balance the amount of opening stock is dollar three thousand so that we will take then we will consider net purchase and see the amount of net purchase twenty thousand isn't it so this twenty thousand i will consider and from this now i will subtract closing stock so closing stock is given in the additional information so see the additional information closing stock is valued at four thousand so this four thousand now i will subtract from here so what is the final final result 3000 plus 20 23000 and minus minus 4000 that uh, the cost of sale will be dollar 19000 so 42000 minus 19000 so what will be the amount of gross profit so when we will subtract 19 19000 from 42000 we will get difference of dollar 23000 this is the amount of gross profit our gross profit is which one what is the amount of gross profit dollar 23000 sale minus cost of sale this is uh, gross profit and now after computing this gross profit uh, so the trading account is over now we are to prepare profit and loss account so in the profit and loss account first we will take gross profit and gross profit we know the amount of gross profit is dollar 23000 so after gross profit now we will add other incomes and in this question there is no item of other income so the other incomes are what nil other other incomes are nil so what 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 is the amount of total income then dollar twenty three thousand same amount yeah now we have to consider expenses okay so see from this trial balance find out the item of expenses so see the first item is rent paid this is expense so rent paid i will consider here rent rent paid what is the amount of rent paid tell me the amount in as per trial balance is how much 3000 isn't it yeah so 3000 i will consider but see the additional information point number second in the additional information prepaid rent prepaid rent yeah uh, to dollar uh, prepaid rent amounted to dollar 500 it means out of this 3000 uh, 500 is prepaid it means this 500 belongs to the next year this uh, th out of this 3500 belongs to the next year so we will subtract this and only current year's rent we will consider and current year's rent is how much dollar 2500 3000 minus 500 this is current year's uh, uh, you know rent and this prepaid rent we are to show in the balance sheet also 
so simultaneously i am showing this prepaid rent in the balance sheet so it will come under head current assets under head current assets i will show this item so under head current assets show prepaid rent prepaid rent what is the amount dollar 500 and why it is asset because we paid this money in advance isn't it and the benefit of this payment we will get in the next year okay so that's why it is it is our asset okay now the next item of expense is which one interest on bank loan okay so this is the next item so interest interest on bank interest on bank loan interest on bank loan so what is the amount of loan paid we paid how much as per trial balance we paid dollar 300 okay but if we see the bank loan see the bank loan what is the amount of bank loan 4000 and on this and on this 4000 we are to pay interest at the rate of 10 percent got it so 4000 is the bank loan and at the rate of 10 percent what is the amount of interest which we are to pay dollar 400 isn't it so this is the amount of interest which we are to pay but as per trial balance we paid only how much 300 so out of 400 this is the amount which we are to pay but actually we really we paid only 300 so what is the amount of outstanding interest dollar 100 so dollar 100 is the amount of outstanding interest so see now i will uh, so the whole year's interest is how much dollar 400 this is paid and this is outstanding is still not paid now and this outstanding interest dollar 100 we have to show in the balance sheet also and this will come under head current liability under head current liability i will show outstanding uh, interest outstanding interest how much how much dollar 100 we have to pay 400 but we paid only 300 it means in the next year we have to pay the remaining 100 also so that's why this outstanding interest is our liability now so now next item of expense is which one now we have to solve point number uh, third related to provision for doubtful debts okay so for that see what i am doing without preparing provision for doubtful debts account i will compute the amount which we have to charge from the profit and loss account so see what is the amount of provision what is the balance in provision account 2000 okay and and this 2000 i will utilize to meet out these bad debts and what is the amount of bad debts 1000 okay so out of this provision this is the opening balance of provision and from this opening balance i will meet out this bad debt this is bad debts so after writing of this 1000 the balance left in provision account is which one what is the balance left 1000 will left now in the in the provision account from this 2000 i will meet out this 1000 this is loss this is provision and from this provision i will meet out this loss so when i will meet out this loss the balance in provision will left only how much dollar 1000 this is the remaining amount but as per point number third we are to maintain the balance at 10 percent on debtors so what is the amount of debtors 3000 uh, 30000 isn't it and it's 10 percent means 3000 we are to maintain the balance 30,000 and it's 10 percent 3,000 we need balance 3,000 right now we have balance only 1,000 so what is the amount of deficit 2,000 isn't it yeah so this 2,000 I will take from the profit and loss account so this 2,000 I will charge from profit and loss account provision for bad debts how much amount I have taken from the profit and loss account dollar 2,000 just to maintain the balance at 3,000 so, and now one more item left the fourth point regarding depreciation yeah we have to depreciate the furniture so what is the amount of furniture and this is the amount of furniture isn't it 60,000 and it's 10 percent we have to depreciate it's 10 percent so it 10 percent will be how much amount dollar 6,000 isn't it so this this 6,000 is lost to us so that's why i will write this loss in the profit and loss account under head expense so i will write here depreciation depreciation on furniture how much dollar six thousand got it now i think all the items uh, i have considered all the items of expenses the first item is rent 
द सेकेंड इज इंटरेस्ट ऑन बैंक लोन थर्ड इज प्रोविजन फॉर बेड डेट्स एंड द लास्ट वन इज डेप्रिशिएशन गॉट इट नाउ मेक मेक द टोटल ऑफ ऑल द एक्सपेंसिस द टोटल ऑफ एक्सपेंसिस विल बी सी हाउ मच द टोटल ऑफ एक्सपेंसिस विल बी टेन थाउजेंड नाइन हंड्रेड टेन थाउजेंड नाइन हंड्रेड दिस इज द टोटल ऑफ एक्सपेंसिस सो फ्रॉम दिस टोटल इनकम नाउ वी आर टू सेप्टेक्ट दिस टोटल एक्सपेंसिस thousand nine hundred so the balance will be how much twelve thousand one hundred twelve thousand one hundred this is our net profit okay our net our net profit is which one twelve thousand one hundred so in this manner we prepared this uh, uh, income statement we prepared the trading account and then we prepared the profit and loss account got it or not now i am going to update the balance sheet so see this is our this is our balance sheet already two items uh, uh, already shown which uh, two items the first is prepaid rent and uh, one more item i have shown i showed the outstanding interest okay now rest items i will show so see the rest items so see the uh, the trial balance so find out the item of assets so from the beginning if you will see you will find one item cash okay See, this is the this is our asset cash, and what is the amount of cash? Seven, yeah, ten thousand seven hundred. This is cash. So this I will show under head, you know, current assets. Cash is our current assets. So here I will here I will show cash. How much? Ten thousand seven hundred. Now after cash, the next item is which one? Furniture. Furniture is fixed assets. So furniture I will show under head fixed assets. furniture and what is the what is the amount of furniture 60000 isn't it 